What's up guys, my name is Sasele from AP Tech, helping you grow further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, we do tech gear review and also tips and strategies just like this one. Today, we're going to review three best plugins that are currently available in the market for a Final Cut Pro. And if you stay on until the end, I will give you two free plugins so that way you can actually enjoy. And if you feel like you just want to skip ahead of this video and grab those two free plugins, I'll leave it link in the description if you want to go ahead and grab those ones but i would urge you to stay along so that way you could actually see these best plugins that you can buy in the market for final cut pro this is a sponsored video and this plugins are from motion vfx and it works really amazing with your macbook pro motion vfx also um, provides plugins for other platforms just like DaVinci and Premiere. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in into Final Cut Pro and show you the plugins that I'm going to review. In the previous videos, I have um, reviewed some of these plugins in detail, but this video will be a little bit more brushing to those plugins. So the first plugin that we're going to review, it's called M Journey. M Journey uh, plugin is amazing for those who are interested in documenting your travel videos. I have personally, um, traveled to from A to B. So what I'm going to use is a my recent video clip for my other channel that I've used. And that is basically uh, on my way to uh, Turkey for my hair transplant. So for those who are interested uh, in watching that type of videos, I'll leave a link on my other channel, which I have done a uh, proper journey uh, pathway on how I've had my hair transplant um, about two months ago. So without further ado, let's go ahead. So basically, um, now we are on Final Cut Pro. What I've basically done is I've added a map and within the map, um, I've added a, uh, a layer on top of that. So this is uh, basically a, uh, a title drop down. So this is basically demonstrating from A to B where I'm traveling to. So we're using M Journey. M Journey has a tons of um, drop zones on top of this stuff. So these are coming as a title, as a transition, but I'm going to go on to that later on. So yeah, they've come with so many titles at the top and one of my favorite one here because we are traveling um, from A to B as I've already mentioned traveling to Turkey for my hair transplant surgery. I've added a little map for you to understand from where we are traveling from A to B. It animates from where I'm traveling United Kingdom to Istanbul. Uh, as you can see this footage here is not acceptable in my opinion. You can see the, the quality because this is a uh, iPhone footage so you can't use iPhone footage on your normal uh, standard format. So what we're going to do is we're going to use adjustment layer and this is something that I'm going to share with you later on. So we're going to drop an adjustment layer in our timeline and instead of adjusting each individual, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust on the adjustment layer once and that's going to help you. So we're going to use something called HDR tool and within this HDR tool, just literally by dropping that, that is going to improve your footage. So we're going to change the, the color of the footage itself. So currently it's on uh, 709 SDR. We're going to change that to Rec 709 SDR here, which is HLG. So by changing that, you can see that that footage is more uh, user friendly now. Um, so this video was shot on iPhone. Um, so you can see here, there's a transition between um, the map and the footage itself. And this transition is called Luma Fade. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit more on Luma Fade, how you can use that and how you can get it for free. So there's two free uh, plugins that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video. So if you stay along with me and then I'll show them exactly where you can get them. So the, the first one is basically this one here, the transition comes in as free and you can use it in so many methods. On top of this adjustment layout, we've got a, a title and this title is amazing. Again, it's a preset title and it makes your life a lot easier. If we move back to the M journey, and you can see these are title here. Um, there's so many different stuff that you can use on a daily basis. And you can see basically I'm demonstrating that I've tra I'm traveling from A, which is London. I'm in my cab here on my way to London Heathrow. So I've arrived at London Heathrow. So I'm showing here the date that I'm traveling, which is the 27th of March, 2022. Basically here, we, you can see we've arrived Heathrow Airport. And you can see from my um, previous before surgery, this is how I looked like. And you can see straight away, I've had so no hair pretty much. And now I've got a lot of hair coming up. And this is month two. Um, I'm not expecting any uh, drastic change, but at least I'm expecting a some sort of improvement as I go along with my journey. And straight away, we are moving on. And as you can see here, this video here does not have the adjustment layer. So if I drag this adjustment layer on top of it, 
that's going to change the quality insane. So if we move on straight away here, um, you can see basically the quality of this video has changed uh, completely because of the adjustment layer. And what we can do something called like, um, this is only optional. Again, it's optional what you want to do, but I tend to use uh, some sort of a flare so that way I can add a bit of a cinematic look. So you can see that by adding this flare, you've got the, a, some sort of a sunlight hitting. Obviously there isn't any sunlight here, but you can see some sort of a glare that's coming up. And again, I'm showing three clips in one hit. And this is amazing if you want to go ahead and do that, which is this one here, multi-screen. So you can have three screens in one um, clip. And this is what I'm doing here. If I play it back again, you can see that's three screens there. I apologize if my laptop is a little bit slow. That's because I'm doing audio recording as well as um, screen record while I'm running my uh, Final Cut Pro. So straight away, we have arrived basically um, in our seating arrangements on the plane. And you can see basically I'm taking my hat off just to show you how I look like before. I'm traveling from London Heathrow to Istanbul. And this is what I'm using again. The title that I'm using again is all editable. You can change wherever you want to change it from. So you can change it to USA, whatever you want to do. But obviously I'm traveling from um, London Heathrow Airport. So I'm going to leave it there. You can change the time. You can change uh, the date that you're traveling. Again, we've traveled on Sunday, the 27th of March. Um, so this is something that you can do. So if we move on further down, it's a cloudy day. So we've added some sort of animation here. And this is amazing. For those who are into, uh, into some sort of animation, it comes with so many different animations. It comes with Arrow, it comes with uh, Campus. So you can literally add something here on top of it. So just to show that little bit more into where we are. So, and, and the good thing with this one here, it's on screen. You can move it wherever you want it, the Campus. So if I move it there, so just something like that, I can literally indicate we are basically rotating and moving from A to B. And this is another thing that I like, which is showing if you're moving from different des destinations from A to B to, uh, to uh, C, and you can show that. And this is the good thing with that is you, it, you can move them individually from where, where you want it to be. And um, that's another thing. So if I delete this, for example, another one that, that I tend to like where you're traveling from. So if I move that in here, you can see basically, you can say that you're actually climbing a route from A to B. So this is amazing and you can show that in uh, real time. So you can move these again manually from wherever you want it to, to be, but we're not interested in this clip for now. So we're gonna delete that for now. So you can see straight away, um, it's an amazing sunny day. And then we are basically landing. To land, I'm just showing a, a title here. We are landing in Istanbul, the state of hair transplant. The reason I call that is because Turkey is well known for hair transplant. And we are also using a uh, animation here to show that it's a bit sunny on that day. So I've been wearing a jacket where I left in UK, it was about six degrees. And this is basically showing you a bit of more transition, how you can do uh, using Lumifade. So if we move on to transitions, which is right here, and this is the transition that I tend to use quite frequent, and this is called Lumifade transition. The second plugin that I'm going to show you here, which I've re already reviewed is MTuber 3. MTuber 3, it's amazing for those who are interested in YouTube. It's dedicated for YouTube platform, but you can use it on other platforms. So this is a uh, platform where you can actually drop so many things. So I can drop here the word subscribe. So it's a call to action. So I'm literally showing you a, a subscribe button here and you can subscribe to that. Um, another thing that you can do, so if I just delete that, you can add, so we can add a timestamp like this one here. So again, this is amazing if you want to illustrate um, on a long video where people can skip ahead in terms of a timestamp. In MTuber 3, it has so many things in terms of uh, icons where you, you can use. One thing that I tend to use quite frequent is basically split screens. Split screens is one of my favorite. Instead of doing it manually and uh, keystoning, so you can use a split screen like this one here. And the split screen is basically you can add a clip while you are actually doing a video. So let's say you are talking about a clip and you can click an area where you are interested in. Like for example, you're interested in this part here and you can say that you are traveling from here to here. So you can show the split screen. So you are on your way to the clinic where I've had my hair transplant and you can show that straight away and you can talk about it on a side um, clip. Again, you can see how big fan I am using a uh, Luma transition, which is this one here. 
Um, so if we move on straight away, we have arrived at the airport and then we're going to show basically a uh, destination. So you can see that we have arrived at the destination and have a dropped in a uh, some sort of uh, indicator the location. So if we move back to the title, the third plugin that I'm going to show you here is one of the most popular plugin that I've used here again, which is uh, MKBHD. And for those who are familiar with MKBHD, he has a unique trending method that he tend to he tends to use when illustrating the product reviews. And you can see that it has a background just illustrating his logo, but obviously we can't use his logo. You can alter it and change the color and the font and everything. But these are the things that you can use. I have reviewed this one MKBHD plugin on a, a detail. If you want to see a detailed review on MKBHD, watch this video so that way you can understand what you can achieve on using this plugin. This plugin again comes in with so many um, information just like this one here for example if i drop a uh, so obviously this is an on-screen control i'm going to move it to the right because like that one here so by dropping it in you've got the basically the name there and also it kind of an audio interface so you can change this to ap tech and that's how it looks like you can use this for your podcast so you can use it for anything to be honest but obviously it's up to you what your taste is like um, if I show you straight away down, the one that I tend to use most common is when I tend to illustrate certain things. For example, if I want to zoom in on a specific area, just like this one here. So when I zoom in, basically it shows me a little bit. Again, you're zooming, you zoomed in to one area and then you zoomed out. So that's when you are emphasizing a certain information. Um, so moving on. We are using basically a some sort of a date and also to illustrate where we have arrived. So this is a sunny day. We are saying it's about 78 Fahrenheit. And for those who are not familiar Fahrenheit, and that's about 26 degrees. We have arrived to the hotel. The hotel looks nice. And then we are visiting the, uh, the clinic itself. And these are the doctors that are basically going to take care of my service. And this is how it looks like the hotel. I'm just basically illustrating. You know, this is a clip that I've used from my other channel to illustrate how my hair transplant journey has panned out. Now, you've stayed till the end. As I promised earlier, I'll be sharing two amazing plugins that you can grab them for free, and that is M Adjuster. This plugin, it's amazing. So if I click on this again, so this is adjustment layer that you can use for your plugin. I'm gonna leave this link in the description. And this plugin is amazing, the fact that it does everything um, very free. And this is called Adjustment Layer. So this is Adjustment Layer Final Cut Pro. As you can see, it's free of charge. The second plugin that I'm going to share with you um, is amazing. It's called, this one here is Luma Transition. Again, this plugin, it's amazing. In my opinion, you can get it for free and you can watch the trailer and this is how it looks like. You can, uh, you can use this plugin for so many things. It doesn't have to be a travel, but you can use it for mainly travel because this is what is known about. Um, so you, it basically transitions so many things in one go. And this is one of my favorite um, plugins that I've been using for my travel uh, between London to Istanbul. Now, obviously the other three plugins are not free. And if I show you the plugins that I've just mentioned here, which is MKBHD, and this is priced at $99, I'll leave a discount code for you, APTEC15, if you want to go ahead and purchase this one here. And the second plugin that I've just showed you, which is this one here, um, it's called MTuber 3 and this is one of the most popular and as you can see is one of the best selling here and the third plugin that I've already shared with you which is M Journey. If you want to stand out from the crowd I would urge you to buy this plugin which is $89 and this plugin is one of my favorites and you can see that it has so many different titles. It has a cinematic titles and you can illustrate um, from A to B where your journeys are and this is something that I would urge you that for those who are interested in buying plugins. Um, so you've just made it to the end of today's video. If you found this video useful, do hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Till next time, stay legend.